How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the document.createElement method within JavaScript. So it looks like this and it allows you to uh, dynamically create new HTML elements on the fly within your JavaScript code. And it's useful uh, to build UIs as well as update the page uh, dynamically from a just say a web server request in the background or you know things like that so it's basically just to uh, update your page uh, on the fly so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new HTML element and assign it to a variable so we'll get rid of this and we can say let's new elements equals document dot create element now this method takes one parameter uh, most of the time and that one is just the the tag name of that new element so to make a div you would type in div inside here just like that now within this code right here a new element has been created and it's a div and it's assigned to this variable right here so now with this we can actually just log out this variable and we'll see how we go so we'll come down here we'll say log and we'll pass in new element into there just like that we can save this, go in the browser, and refresh. And we see we get a div tag that looks like HTML markup in the console right there. Now this isn't too useful, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the code and we're going to change this log to dir to get a more detailed description of that object. We can save this one and we'll try again. Refresh. And now we can just click on this up here and we can see all the properties associated with this object. So there's a lot more information with this. Now if we scroll down, we can see this object is actually a HTML div element uh, type. So pretty interesting. Just have a look around here and um, just see what you can find. Now back in the code, what we'll do is we'll change this element to an input element. So we'll type in here, we'll just type in input. Now with this, we're making one of those input boxes, uh, you know, part of the part of the forms, all that stuff. So now we're going to actually append this element to the web page. So we're gonna add it to the page itself. Now we're gonna do this using the append child method. So down here, we'll type out document dot body dot append child and then pass in this new element now with this we can see that we're actually referring to the body element now in my in my file right here that doesn't exist so uh, down here we'll just type out body I don't know if you've got this already but for me the body tag wasn't there so I'm gonna add that in just like that now document dot body dot append child will add this element to the body tag. So it's basically just doing this. Input, just like that. Get rid of this. Save it. Go in the browser. Refresh. And we see the input tag added just like that. Very easy and very cool. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.